What now? Quick step. Been caught in the act. So much for the perfect crime. Your refusal has made this a matter for the guards. You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. They believe you, for now. But something tells you they won't be so receptive to your charms again. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here, a token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together.
She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. Yes! Fuck you, Ethel, you miserable old bat! Fuck you for telling me I'd be an awful mom. That I was nothing but a pregnant half-wit. Oh, and the girl? You saved her too, right? is dead oh you didn't change back you're still a, a zombie i thought with ethel gone you, never mind i'll i'll find another way to turn you back somehow I know. Damn it. I know. Connor. I love you. I've loved you since we were kids. And you picked me bluebells and asked me to the summer fair. But you're gone. And this thing isn't you. Not anymore. Not everyone can be saved. I learned that lesson from Ethel. I just needed you to remind me. <sighs> Here. Thank you for killing Ethel. But I'd like you to go now. I'll be fine. I know I'm stronger than this. I just need some time. Someone there. Drama? This is sense. Half the crew are dead on their feet, while the others are ready to drop everything and leave. Dread likely.
That's curious. It's uncooperative. Stayed interesting. Never wanted the easy path. Whoa, whoa, mate. This is the last place you need to be. Clear off, yeah? <laughs> Two words. Guild business. Only an idiot gets between them and their shipments. We're humble smugglers, all right? So just... just take whatever you want. Not enough that the Guild will have my head for this. You want to leave my little ones copperless too. God damn it all. Fine. Here, take it and go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Keep your distance, down. Subtle steps. Do not be blinded by smiles and song. Evil comes in many forms. This man has tried to hide.
press ahead. for communal use, it seems. Best show. These boots have seen everything. I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. What's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? And you know what they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, and where palms about. 
Meet me at your camp. Please, head inside. Don't let me keep you from the celebrations.
rejoice as the wave mother will rejoice sisters for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death her lips blue with her kiss her lungs full of her quenching word Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow sinking death in the beast shadow how dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the wave mother's fallen daughter? Yes, rage and rebel against the beast and its master, a tribute most fitting. Yes, thank the wave mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death, but her passing was not as the wave mother intended. It was a beast who took her life, an unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The bee struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Arbor. She was found by some fishermen. She would have suffered a terrible, agonizing death had Umberly not bestowed upon her the mercy of drowning. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. <laughs> that privilege is not yours to earn. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Furious and merciful unbelief. Should mind my step.
Still breathing, despite everything. Shall we?
empty. Careful, I bind. Should be easy. might lack a certain worldly wisdom, no doubting they're masters of their craft. You're a child at heart, Gale, admiring white. Someone there. Let's crack it open.
Keep your distance, darling. Don't linger. Lord Gortash's inspection, a panoply of eight displays that show how foundry production is meeting or exceeding all quotas. You are asking the impossible. Gyronetics require a steady hand and a sharp gaze. I can barely keep my eyes open. I need to rest. You have a son, do you not? Is he as lazy and pathetic as his spineless mother? Wait! Stay your hand, I beg you! Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Tell me, Gondian. Tell me about your son. He's not... <sighs> yes. Overseer Holtz. He's frail in body and mind like me, like all of us. Yet by your grace, he lives. And your wife? She is... was useless. And 
interfered with production quotas. You were wise to remove her from this world. Forgive my outburst. I will work through the night. This watcher will be operational by dawn. I will allow it. But if your work is anything short of impeccable, your son will die screaming. Is that clear? Yes. Overseer Holtz. Time to press ahead. For every bite you take, they Flowers are so overrated. They're bright, gaudy, and almost never make good poison. Uh, the gods truly Although I am right. She can wait to show off the scar to her friends at school.
Very well. Trap. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We send to him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> Rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. And suddenly, another presence looms in your mind. Another temple. Some sneak thief lurks nearby. The same one I sensed in the counting house. I can taste your thoughts, coward! Come out, so I may spill them on the ground! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. be on my way.
worms have use for you. about this. The mark of my on me.
with ease. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Killed. Her. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira. You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Then you have two, and as many more as I can rip from enemy shoulders. But I have more than Minsk alone to offer. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he?
won't budge. Let us show them how it's done. Going, going.
mailed fist in the fire cam armor style. Nice mask. What's the story here? with the female story? features in the Rashemi style. My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Minz to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? Of course! How else was I to break through these walls? Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo! Why do you use such language? 
Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Quite right. But it is not Orin herself who has marked me for death. It is her dread master. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Orin is his chosen. And like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast, penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. It contains all the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. 
Now I just need a brave adventurer, willing to face Baal's chosen, and to put the knowledge into practice. Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. It's one of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath, hmm? The Dream Eater. It is said that children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. A genius. Exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesela, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Irenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia yourself. You'll need every advantage. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped. But not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Two or three at most. I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. The absolute threatens thousands. The entire coast. And still you risked much to help one man. I should berate you. But... I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own. But whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight, huh? Both of us, to the very end. He is an ass. I can make no promises beyond that. But even so, lead the way. We're yours to command. You're sure? Later, then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. Fine lodgings you have found, my friend. Boo is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place. In Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat-formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all. Now, what do you need of Minsk?
so dark an alliance sealed with Zentish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. Do you think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... Ooh, why do you nod my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. There are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places. You must reach what Minsk cannot, the Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. has already whipped me around the city like a slack-backed pony. I have no wish to settle myself a second time. But if it cannot be Boo who pops inside my skull for a rummage, then I trust you. Or Jahira, but she is currently possessed of an empty head. I... I much prefer your methods, my friend, but Boo is resolute. The worm it must be. At first, there is nothing. His mind is empty as a still expanse of open country. But then... Your face, the Stone Lord's face, mirrored in bloodied steel. In the heat of burning buildings, you hold your blade high above pale, frightened faces. No, that is not right. I slew only monsters. The voice said that they were monsters. A whisper, the Absolute's voice, twisting the petty guild thieves before you into snarling, savage beasts. Feeding on the weak of your city. The guild. The Stone Lord hunted them. Peeled away their rotten ranks one by one to lay bare their corrupt heart. Nine fingers keen. That is what the Absolute bought Black Zentis Steel to do. To kill the Guildmaster. What does it matter? Cultish thinking has occupied Minsk's mind for long enough. Now is time for doing. And this talk of evil overthrowing evil, ta! Like a many-headed hydra biting at its own throat. Bring forth the hydra, says Boo. More faces for the punching. First we pop the center in blood. Then we show nine fingers, the five fingers of Minsk. Yes? Yes? Yes. What can I do for you, my friend? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Thank you. 
stars down there on the docks going about their business. Oh, we'll get to them soon enough. A good day to you, sir. I apologize, but Lady Janeth is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me, and I will ensure she receives them. <coughs> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present. Please come back another time. Tarhun Nemonis, butler to Lady Janeth, esteemed patron of the arts. At least I am most of the time. Lady Janeth wishes for some time alone with her new spouse and has sent her staff on holiday accordingly. Were you to try and enter, there'd be nothing I could do to stop you. After all, I am on holiday. Do as you wish. What path lies before me? It's mine now. Quick step. I wonder. Crackers open. There's nothing here to feel. This is a colossal waste of time. 